Hi y'all, this is Sharon Day from Ghost Hunting Theories and today is Vlog Friday. Today I'm going to be discussing aliens. What are they? Where do they come from? Uh, uh, most traditional thought, of course, is anything that isn't ours is other and other must be out there. Um, other out there either uh, would have to be heaven and ghosts or outer space and aliens. So um, I think that we are very linear in our thinking. Uh, my personal take on it, and I've had to think about this for a lot of years and sort of garner my own experiences that I've, I've had with greys, which uh, is not something that I'm particularly proud of or excited about. Um, it's a difficult thing to explain to people, having an unbelievably real encounter with something that shouldn't exist. Um, but there's a lot of things that shouldn't exist, and they do. And uh, once we know what they are, then we can actually understand their properties. They're not that mysterious. And to me, I have sort of what I consider an understanding of their properties. And I'm certainly not scared of them in the least. In fact, I, I look forward to having another encounter. <laughs> um, but my experiences with them have been very positive. So um, it stands alone for me that that's how I feel. Uh, for others, it's uh, quite a, a large terror. Uh, my take on this whole thing, a personal now, okay, based on my own experiences and my own gathering of knowledge and my own logic. Um, we're not dealing with something that's actually traversing space. It's not coming here in a spaceship from uh, hundreds of millions of light years. Uh, it, it is actually from a parallel universe or a parallel world uh, that it can slip in and out of. It can slip in and out of these sort of dimensions, if you want to call them that, or parallel worlds. Um, and I do believe that they very likely were the very first inhabitants of the Earth. And uh, there's been many races upon the Earth for millions and millions of years. And each one has, in its own way, learned how to traverse that, that, that membrane and go to those other worlds. And so um, they do come back. And I think what they come back for, in a way, at least from my, my sense, is that they come back to, to give us a glimpse that, guess what? Your world isn't finite. Uh, it's, it's infinite. And you are developing, and you are learning, and you are getting technology. And we see this, and we acknowledge it. And we're trying to be sure that you, too, traverse into these other worlds and these other realms and go to a higher place. Um, so I don't think they want to encourage us to have knowledge before our time. I think that might have occurred with uh, Homo sapiens and giants. I think there was a time there where giants were hundreds of thousands of years ahead of us and they had that technology and we looked at them as gods because they were doing things that were extraordinary. Um, we, we, we didn't understand. We had no reference. Uh, we didn't learn that yet. Um, so they left us with a lot of uh, vehicles and... Uh, in buildings and, and structures and technology that we didn't understand. So we had that supposed lost knowledge, um, which Homo sapiens had not earned yet. So in a way, uh, these visitors come, and they know that we haven't reached certain milestones yet. And just like an adolescent, um, they're waiting for us to finish potty training and uh, get ready for school. So uh, I, this is kind of how I look at it. They're, you know, they're coming back and forth, and there are other parallel worlds. and. Uh, and I think that any encounter that we would have with them, they wouldn't give us any physical evidence. They wouldn't give us any, um, you know, they wouldn't come and shake our leader's hands. Uh, what they're giving us, they may even have to give us through the use of our mind in the dream state, um, utilizing the pineal gland and our ability to have dreams. And this is why often this happens in our sleep. Um, we're just more accessible that way to uh, have encounters and to understand. And eventually, I think, as you go on to other other realms, all, all these things that we have in our mind, all the things that we have for being mortal people, um, the brain and such, um, we, we integrate it. Uh, and that's part of the process. We haven't learned integration yet. Uh, I do believe there was something that had to do with energy and, and resonance and harmonics and all kinds of things that we don't understand fully yet. Um, but they help them to push on to the other realms and to understand the basic um, holding of our souls within the universe. Uh, I think once we know how to use these tools, uh, we would move on. And I think they probably watch us build a lot of destructive tools and a lot of tools for communication and transportation, and we sort of have missed the mark. <laughs> so they may be tweaking us. They may be um, hoping to kind of nudge us. And, and they don't want to do our homework for us, but they do want us to understand the concepts. Um, so this is sort of how I look at the alien experience. Uh, I don't see it as, an, as a threat to our world in any way. It's, um, I think, a comfort to know that people that went before us might be trying to help us to get to a better place and uh, maybe a better universal understanding and become part of the universal playground. 
Um, so that's how I see it. Um, I'm sure your views will differ, and like I always say, I came to my conclusions by my own experience and my own knowledge and my own way of interpreting things. But I hope it enlightens you.